Hi, it's Lisa O'Neill here. I've got a question for you. Are you okay? I feel like for the past 18 months, there has been a battle of okay, of people staying okay, people not being okay, and people doing their very best to be okay. Are You Okay is an Australian-based harm prevention charity that encourages people to stay connected, to have conversations that can help others through difficult times in their lives. Now, I'm one of these weird people who loves talking about difficult stuff. I reckon it's an honour to be with people in their difficult times, to experience and support people when being a human gets really hard. Thanks to all the work that's been done in the area of mental health awareness, we now know that it's okay not to be okay. It's important that people can be open and real about the challenges that they have and to get support when life is tough. The past two years have meant many of us have lowered our bars. We have dropped our expectations to well below what they used to be. This year, I've become very interested in how do we get to be more than okay? How do we lift our expectations above okay? We've spent so much time being limited and locked up, and we've actually forgotten that living big is an option. So six years ago, I joined Thought Leaders Business School. I joined because I wanted more. I wanted to be commercially smart. I wanted to be supported. I wanted to be noticed, nurtured, and professionally nourished. Being self-employed is not an easy option. I was professionally lonely. I wanted to find a community of like-minded people, people who were committed to delivering the messages that were buried deep inside them. I think being a thought leader is brave. It takes so much guts to stand up, to stand out, and to sell your thinking to the world. In the opening pages of one of my favourite books ever, Elizabeth Gilbert's book, Big Magic, she asks the following question. Do you have the courage to bring forth the treasures that are hidden within you? Such a great question. Do you have the courage to bring forth the treasures that are hidden within you? It's a question that makes some people incredibly uncomfortable. Being audacious enough to admit that you have a book inside you or you have a solution to offer the world is brave. It's brave stuff. It is living in an amplified way. Now, it's no surprise to me that when Matt created the Thought Leaders curriculum, his big word was amplify. Being amplified is vital if you want to change the world. The definition of the word amplify is to make something larger, greater or stronger. The Thought Leaders community does this for me. It makes me stronger. It makes me want to be great. It makes me increase my impact. Now, I'm committed to being more than okay. I'm committed to living an amplified life. I love this quote from Elizabeth Gilbert, that an amplified life, it's a bigger life, a happier life, an expanded life, a hell of a lot more interesting life. Living in this manner, continually and stubbornly bringing forth the jewels that are hidden within you is a fine art in and of itself. Such a great quote. So I think committing to thought leadership is like this. It's about bringing forth the jewels that are hidden within you. Some of them might not be even visible to yourself. It's a process. It's a process that demands you do more. It demands you to want more, to be more than just okay. I feel so grateful that I'm able to make this choice. Why would I choose to be miserable when I can choose to live in a space of curiosity and wonder? I think fear is boring. I'm sick of accepting limits. I want to live in wonder. I want to live in delight. I want to be grateful for my life and I want to push up against the ceilings that have become our new normal. I think we need to be brave. I'm going to finish with this wonderful line from poet Jack Gilbert, no relation to Elizabeth Gilbert, that we must risk delight. We can do without pleasure, but not delight, not enjoyment. We must have the stubbornness to accept our gladness in the ruthless furnace of this world. How good is that? We must risk delight. I love it. So even when I'm not okay, I want to be a person who persists with stubborn gladness. See you later.